live three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. What's up, y'all? Long time no see. I'm in go. I'm in MIA, y'all. But you know what? I had an amazing time in Indianapolis with the Eclipse, and my son already posted on his channel what we did. I do have footage, but I may not put that footage out because he already did the footage. But at any rate, let's talk about the sauce. Have y'all received y'all sauce yet? Have you? If you have, I'm getting a lot of reviews back from people that have gotten their sauce, and they're very pleased with the flavor. Now, I'm going to do this video for individuals that love onions, the long onions. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't have our manufacturing company do the onions long because of their equipment being, the equipment could have got, you know, damaged that way and tangled up because of the long onions. However, you can add your own long onion. So let me show y'all how I'm going to do this because we're going to rock this bad boy. Now, all you need is a little saucepan like this. Some small, not nothing too big because you don't want to add too much onions to it, okay? Let me pull y'all up closer and show y'all my onion, okay? So, y'all, I'm about to heat up my sauce. Now, you can heat the sauce up in the microwave or you can do it in the little pot, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm about to heat it up right now. I like to put mine in a pot because I feel that it gets hotter and it just you know tastes better than me but it's to each his own it's gonna taste good to it if you put it in the microwave so what i do is i just dump the whole thing in here and i put it on medium low heat and let it get a simmer so it can get boiling popping hot that's how i like mine and then you can you know you can do it the way you want to do it i'm about to put it on the stove right now y'all So I got that on medium heat. And what we are going to do, baby, make sure y'all get everything out y'all jars. Listen, listen, we got a little bit in there. Make sure y'all get everything, every morsel out, okay? So, um, now as that's heating up, I'm going to cut my onions. Now with these, y'all, I'm going to cut very thin slices. But if you want to cut them bigger, you can because what you need to do is saute them prior to. I do cut them in circles. Now, if you want them to be um, half circles, you can do that as well. Um, I just do it this way. I'm trying to get them thin like I want it. I just do it this way because I prefer them to have them this way. And it's important that you saute them first, y'all, in the butter. Only because I tried it before to put it in the sauce and it does not work as far as getting it to where you need it to be as far as tenderness. So that's why I'm trying to tell you, you have to saute it in butter. And if you don't want to saute in the butter because you don't want to use butter or you're vegan, that's fine too because the sauce is vegan friendly. You can saute it. If you're vegan, you can saute it in veggie broth. And that will be uh, good enough. Okay, baby. Okay, I think that's enough onions. I would say use a quarter of this um, onion. But if you like an onion lover like me, you can use half of it and just slice it really, really thin. So what I'm going to do is add, I think I'm going to do two tablespoons of butter. Because I want these bad boys nice and tender. So I cut that off. And then I'm going to put this in it and add that to this pot right here. I should add it to it while it's hot, but I didn't. I'm doing it backwards, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to add it to the, on the stove. Now, y'all, y'all want to make sure that they're really good and tender because you don't want no crunchy onions in your sauce. So what I'm going to do is probably cook it a little bit more. Um, I don't care if they get kind of brown because I like them caramelized because it, it tastes better when it's caramelized. So you do it the way you want to do it, but I feel that if they are really, really tender, they, they do better in the sauce. So y'all, this is how my onions have turned out. And so what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna slide this right on in 
um, this sauce and then I'm going to let that marinate. Okay, y'all, so I added uh, two tablespoons of the butter, but I think that you only need uh, one tablespoon if you don't like the butter. So do one tablespoon, and then you can add your slither of onions. I did two tablespoons, but yeah, you can do less than that because it didn't need all that butter. But at the end of the day, y'all, these eggs came out magnificent. This is what Nate is about to eat. He's going to tear these up and do a video for y'all. So that video will be coming out tomorrow. And you guys, if you have any questions about the sauce or anything, just email me at bloves, the number two. Mm. The number two cook at gmail.com was gonna tell you to uh, email me at the info, but um Nate ain't got time to be answering y'all questions because he's so busy. But anyway, if you have questions, email me at beloves to cook at gmail.com and I will answer any questions about the sauce. Just say sauce inquiry or whatever, and I will answer that for you. But at the end of the day, I thank you so much for supporting my business, for supporting us for these many, many, many years. And you guys, please. Keep God first in everything that you do. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. Been for some crab legs. I want boiled eggs. I want shrimp. I'm a bougie chick. A whole mukbang. Gotta have that lemon.